Ask a Speech Coach, Pronouncing Plural Endings, read to you by Carol Brigham. In English, the most common way to form a plural noun is to add the sound s or z. These little sounds at the end of a word show that you mean more than one. These sounds make a big difference. There are three ways to pronounce the plural form for most nouns. 1. Nouns that end in vowel sounds add the sound z for the plural. The front top of the tongue should almost touch the upper gum ridge. The z vibrates in the very small open space between the tongue and the upper teeth. You should feel a smooth, strong vibration in the teeth and in the front of the tongue. Day, days. Toy, toys. Cow, cows. Boy, boys. Zoo, zoos. Bee, bees. Fly, flies. The z sound also follows voiced consonants. Citizen, citizens. Computer, computers. School, schools. Pilgrim, pilgrims. Friend, friends. 2. Words that end in voiceless consonants Add the sound s for the plural. The top front of the tongue goes just behind the gum ridge. The s is like a gentle escape of steam. S. Vote, votes. Trick, tricks. Cup, cups. Sometimes this is tricky, especially when there are two or more consonants before the S, or the word ends with the sound th. Pronounce all of them. District, districts. Feast, feasts. Fourth, fourths. Fifth, fifths. Sixth, Sixths. Three. Words that end in S, Z, Sh, Ch, and X form the plural with a full syllable sound. Z. Bus, buses. Lunch, lunches. Place, places. Brush, brushes. Box, boxes. There are many irregular plural forms, too. Common irregular plurals are man, men. Woman, women. Foot, feet. Tooth, teeth. Child, children. Mouse, mice. Some English words don't have a plural form. Deer, deer. Sheep, sheep. Fish, fish. For more information about Easy English News, to subscribe to our paper or to our new digital version, and for more resources from Elizabeth Clare, join us at our website, elizabethclare.com.